Hello and welcome to High Caliber TV, your source for figure and model updates every Wednesday and Friday. So today on the workbench we've got the Abrams and the first layers of the pastels and the pigments are already on it. I used the MIG thinner to apply a lot of the, the wear on it, a lot of the basic stuff and I used life color pigments this time actually along with Vallejo and some CMK to sort of blend them all together. It's a bit overdone at the moment, but I did that because I know that with all the layers of oil and clear flat and varnish that's going to go onto it, it's all going to be dulled down. So all the pastels are on top of the layers of acrylic that I thinned down to a milky consistency and drew vertical lines, really thin vertical lines. You can sort of see them still. They have a reflection to them, but once the flat goes on, that reflection will die, and it'll just it's just there to sort of break up the monotony of the flat surfaces on the Abrams. And as I showed on Facebook and Pinterest this week, there's footprints across the deck. I figured like one of the crew members was, uh, you know, uh, going to the can in the field in like an Iraqi ditch or something and then when he got back to his station his boots were covered in muck and so how I did that was sort of interesting uh, I took a spare boot from the live resin modern soldier kit that I had I had one kit that I just used for scrap like extra equipment and ammunition weapons blah 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 and so of course it's got like the track on it and all that and I sort of made up a pot of Tamiya paint thinner and then added some of the life color Golan Dark Earth to it. And this created the, the same sort of packable grime that I used on the base here, on the under, underside. And then I just walked it across. I only used the one foot, so it's they're all right feet, but you know it's disrupted enough that it won't make that much of a difference. And I knew that it was going to look like people can say that things don't actually get this mucky in the desert, but they do. Uh, Iraq, in a lot of areas, they, it rains, and they have you know farm fields and things like that irrigation etc and if this guy's on a patrol covering the patrol in like uh, the hinterlands around Bakaba and stuff like that he's gonna be driving over ditches and things like that to get into contact or uh, you know circumventing roads where IEDs might be by going through farmers fields so I figured you know I, I, I know that they can that a lot of the wear is just dust but I really wanted to make this thing filthy within reason so that's why it's got all the the sort of the up churned muck on the tiles and especially on the bottom here where I figured splash would come up if he's going down and then up through fields and things like that and then so the next stage which I am very excited for is I'm gonna be doing a lot of the oil sort of I'm not sure if you'd call it oil rendering it's the same stuff I used on the LAV in last week's video and I'm very excited about doing that on the horizontal surfaces and then on the, the vertical ones especially I think that'll be a really cool effect on these tiles with the uh, the curvature I was able to procure a couple more variations of brown oil paints so those will come in handy for this build especially and for successive ones I mean if these oil washes are all simulating grime and muck then having sort of various ochre and umber colors are going to come in handy. So yeah, thanks very much for watching. Uh, leave a comment in the description if you've had similar, you know, experiences with uh, life color and stuff like that. If you've got any tips for me, send me a message or leave me a comment. I greatly appreciate that. I know this being my first sort of armored subject, I'm always looking for, you know, insight. And uh, yeah, check us out at highcaliberminiatures.com. Links in the description. Thanks very much for watching, and I will see you next time. Bye.